Good morning fellow option traders and welcome to the daily scan for Wednesday January 23rd 2013. Today is hump day but that's what we used to call it when I had a job but I don't have a job now. So for you folks that do have a job today is hump day for you and for us that don't it's just another day. Granted it is uh, I guess you could say hump day from a market perspective because that's what I care about as far as what day of the week it is ah, I'm rambling let's get on with it alright uh, first let's take a look at our calendar for today Wednesday January 23rd uh, nothing much going on we know that Apple's going to announce um, after the close Google announced they uh, missed on revenue, as I understand it, but uh, earnings per share did okay, and apparently um, they're thinking that the future is bright. So uh, the stock took a jump last night. I uh, just looked at it. I didn't really, you know, like pay much attention to it. I try not to get too excited about earnings. I mean, earnings are good, and uh, we like to see companies make money, but what I personally like to see is volatility. So um, good earnings means low volatility. Speaking of, look at VIX. Oh, man, under 13 again. Actually went down just a bit yesterday. I believe it gapped up, and then it went back down again. Let's uh, look at a chart here. Yes, um, it did kind of gap up from the previous close, but then it came back down again. Didn't hit that low of 12.29, but it's uh, it's pretty dang low. Uh, all right, so our current positions that we have on Apple, CRM, and Panera are sitting right here. They didn't do too hot yesterday. Um, we're just a CRM. Uh, let's take a look. Well, we'll look at the charts when we go through the A-plus list. I wanted to um, spend a few minutes looking at the two alerts that went off yesterday. One was on CF and the other one was on MasterCard. Let's go look at the charts. All right, so um, CF... Um, had, <clears throat> excuse me, gapped up. And what we have going here it was the secondary entry, which you know I didn't enter, even in um, even in the Profit Ten portfolio account. I'm still waiting to get that funding into my regular IRA so I can get back to trading here. But I just wanted to show you a couple of things here. Um, we did have a secondary entry here when it came down below 55 and actually both the percent %K and percent %D came down in, in this secondary entry range here. But also uh, MACD, we have some really good momentum on this stock right now. So that was just like a confirmation of sorts. Same thing with momentum on the weekly chart. Uh, it's moving up, it's gaining momentum. And of course, you know, on the intraday chart over here, you could see a little bit of momentum coming in towards the end of the day yesterday. Otherwise, the three days previous to that was kind of flat. So I wanted to note that. So this probably is a good trade. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to put a little red arrow in there, or a little arrow. And we're just going to pretend like we got in, where are we here? We said after 10 o'clock, so if we would have gotten in right around 221.16. So I'll put the arrow there. Well, it's not red, it's white. I changed the color on it. So <clears throat> we'll keep an eye on that one. Now MasterCard is... Uh, an opposite example of sorts. So I watched this. I got the alert. <clears throat> excuse me, right at the market open, and it sank. So 
that was a no entry. And I wanted to note a couple of other things regarding momentum here. Even though uh, we got a hook down here and we came down very close to the 20 for the percent uh, K, came down very close to the 20, momentum was leaving. So this is um, our short-term indicator and this is the moving average for the MACD. This is the actual MACD itself. And when it's uh, a dark green like this, then that means that it's the previous uh, value was greater than the current value, which means it's dropping. And then when it drops below the line, then it's really dropping. Uh, and the average here, right when we put the circle in to draw our attention here, the uh, moving average started to turn down right when it got at this low spot and then the next day it also turned down. So you want to keep an eye on this and I know I neglectfully and I should I don't always include that in my analysis. So that I'm trying to get that back in to be um, more of a um, more they have more importance in my analysis is what I'm trying to say all right now uh, where were we so that's a little bit of detail about what's going on with analysis Apple's earnings are tonight um, let's go take a look at that chart I made some uh, notes on here. I said market maker move is 30. We can go back here and take a look at it. It's 30.442. So they're expecting a market move of 30. So if we get a move of 30, we're at 504. So we go up to 534. And then we would see what happens after that. What happened at the last earnings really is nothing. I mean, it didn't do anything. I just continued down. So, <laughs> um, what happened here? We had 879 estimate, 867 actual. So, that didn't help. So, what are we looking at here? We are looking at 1347 estimate. So, we'll see if they miss on that. That's earnings per share. And then there's revenue figures and there's guidance and all that other kind of stuff that come into play here. And uh, looking at momentum, it's just that it's never even gone, um, the moving average has never even gone above zero, except for this little bump up here back in December. Otherwise, it's just been staying below. So that's pretty telling. The other one, uh, like I mentioned, was Google. And let's take a look at Google. Uh, let's see, I don't think I have any after hours data here, and I don't feel like changing any charts or anything. And what I can do, though, I go to this other chart here. This is, uh, and we'll punch them up here, and we'll see what we're showing here. All right, so. Um, Uh, after hours, need to change this zoom level here. You zoom out. Okay, so after hours, this uh, gray area here jumped up to 738, and it's at seven. Last is 737.09. So we'll go back to this. 737 we were looking for a 38 for a market maker move and it closed at 702 so that'd be 740 and it's actually at 737 in pre-market aftermarket trading so that market maker move was uh, darn close very very close all right um, let's take a look at our a plus list collapse this down. We uh, looked at Apple. Um, let's just go look at it again. 
we're expecting a market maker move of 30, 504, so we're, we're looking at like 534, somewhere around in this area, right about where the 50 MA is. So we'll see how that works out. Also, I was just uh, thinking, I'm uh, using a different microphone today. So if anybody wants to drop me a comment or anything like that um, regarding that, I would appreciate it. If uh, what you think about the sound quality today versus other days. It's just a different microphone. I've had it for a while. Uh, this is a desk microphone. My other one is my headset microphone which if I move my head around I think helps keep the sound level consistent but also this microphone I think is more sensitive and I can get a little bit more volume out of it so I don't have to artificially turn the volume up so we'll see just let me know if you get a chance Amazon uh, no entry here. We have earnings coming up. Not real excited about that. Baidu. I had an alert on Baidu. We did get a hook up yesterday. Um, we opened and moved down and then it recovered a little bit as indicated by this candle. This is how this candle gets formed. Uh, opens up pulls way back and then ends up closing close to where it opened so you get this big wick here as this move down if you watch the crosshair over on the intraday chart that's how that wick gets formed alright so um, no well there's a possible I'm gonna move this down a little bit just just above yesterday's high on this chart over here <laughs> not on this chart all right uh, even though they're the same chart it's just I'm zoom so far out all right uh, CF didn't do anything there right but let's pretend Chipotle we are We're in, we we're in on that. No entries here. Salesforce, we're in that. That's not looking real good, is it? Not uh, real pleased with that. We're got a little momentum is kind of leaving on this particular stock uh, but we have all the way until February over here so let's just hang in there I'm not gonna panic on that Google um, we already looked at them MasterCard we looked at them Netflix I saw some bad news about Netflix yesterday um, we did bounce down here and we did pull up but we got momentum leaving so if we uh, uh, do not want to do anything on that at this time, so I'm going to kill this alert. Priceline. All right, we have um, momentum uh, here is just starting to leave a little bit. But it's been doing that for quite a while, even though the stock is going up. Um, and since we're in an uptrend, we're looking for a pullback down here. So no entries on Priceline at this time. And last but not least, Panera. Um, uh, not seeing anything. Well, we're in, we're in it here. So... Um, we're just uh, keeping an eye on it. I have an alert here just in case it drops below 160. Just keeping an eye on it. All right. Um, and then yesterday during the day in my paper account, I made a short video with um, 
my modification, the trades to the Profit 10 portfolio, and here's that video now. Okay, here's just a quick shot of uh, my paper trading account. And what I'm interested in with these um, the iron condors that I have here on Amazon CF, Chipotle, MasterCard, and Priceline is I'm just watching the delta, making sure that it's not going crazy. And, of course, always looking at the profit and loss. But this is as of the 22nd. Um, January 22nd, these are all February expirations. All right, I'm back to today. And that's it for today. Um, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.